Hi, welcome back to another video. I promised I would do this video. I'm back at Ramsgate Marina. You know, there's a bit of hustle and bustle. It's about six o'clock in the evening. Not as many lights lit up as I'd hoped, but nonetheless, there's enough lights that, you know, I can get something fascinating out of this. Certainly it's a calm night, it's eight degrees. And because the water is still, if I do a portrait shot with a long mast and get the reflection in the water, that should be nice. So two years since I was last here, has my photography expanded since I was last here? You know, has it improved? Have I learned more? <laughs> I almost don't want to put a link to the previous video because, you know, it was vlogging at its worst. You know, I'm, I'm here and I'm going to do a video and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but I'm still not going to show it. Hunt through my um, catalogue, you'll see it. Now, I'm going to do the colonnade with the trail lights. I'm going to do a few other shots, but obviously don't want it to be the same as last time. But you know, it's Christmas, it's December. Let's go down there and take a trail light shot to start off with. So what I'm trying to encompass, we've got the restaurant on the right. We've got these lovely parade of lights. We've got the arcing road as it goes round and the lights of the kind of little shops and the trees so quite a lot that we can take a picture of here i'm also turning off vibration reduction off the lens so i'm going to zoom in to about two thirds of the way a third of the way in get it on a very tight aperture f22 and then take off a couple of shots see what we get so in order to get the best shot, I'm going to turn the auto sensitivity that off. It must stay at 100. I don't want it blowing out. So that way, when I set it to F22, I can't get any lower than that, can I? F22, ideally, I want bulb, but I'm just going to run it at about 15 seconds. Because if I run it at 15 seconds, if nothing else, I'll get some trail lights. Now, what did I mention? I'm turning vibration reduction off. I don't want the motor in the lens to move at all. I want it to be crystal clear. But I'm also using the trigger so that I can not touch it. I don't want the two second timer to, you know, kind of go on. So it's just a case of waiting for a few cars. There's a couple of cars going up, but nothing coming down. Yes, I've got 15 seconds, so two cars going up, one car coming down. This could be just perfect, one shot. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. What I didn't get was enough trail lights coming down onto this part of the road. So that was at 15 seconds. It's a little dark, so what I'm going to do is run it a little longer. Um, yeah, I might even push it to the left a bit. So. This will be this shot, and then I'm going to go down and see if we can get some other shots. So, um, yeah, hope you like it. couldn't actually resist it <laughs> while I'm going back to the car and I know I said I'd go down there and take some shots while I'm up here I've got this view and so you know pretty much like when I first started but I can zoom in at the restaurants and it's just a different aspect isn't it so it's, it's got to be worth taking a shot or two can't really give you live views because live views um don't work on these cameras at night at least I don't think so that's the live view. <laughs> it really doesn't cut it. Doesn't cut the mustard, as they say, in the trade. <laughs> so the other footage was from the um, DJI as I was hand holding it. But yeah, I mean, there, there is a live view. You can see something. You've got the traffic lights down there, haven't you? Let it focus, bit of a restaurant. But by doing long exposure with zooming in, get some kind of activity going on. And then what I'm thinking is, I can zoom in on the boats, can't I, from up here. See if I can get some nice shots with the Royal Victoria Pavilion in the background there. Could be good. 
couple of good shots from up here, um, which I'll show now, and then I will go down there. Now, one of the hardest things when you're doing this kind of photography, there's two things that I have to, and you might have to as well, fighting off boredom <laughs> and impatience. Now, I had decided I would come here and I would take some pictures. And having done that, I'm only kind of like a third of the way through and I'm already bored. <laughs> and I think part of that is the fact that my car is a stone's throw away. I'm potentially 20 minutes drive from home. It's not like I've gone up to Scotland and I'm in the wilderness and because I'm there, I'm committed. <laughs> Part of it is very much, oh, shall I continue? Anyway, I've got this lovely scene. We've got lots and lots of boats that are lit up. But in order to get all the aspect, I think I'm gonna to have to do a couple of panos. Well, I, I say a couple of panos. <laughs> I'm going to do one pano, but it's going to be multiple shots, right? My cold is still persisting. Shall I move you so that you can see me? I'm hoping you'll still be able to see me. I, I, it is what it is, right? Do, do, do. <coughs> oh, got a cold, got a cold. You've got a cold. If I put live view on, what are you going to get? Oh, it's quite good. Live view's doing it. That's 18 mil, you see. At 18 mil, I haven't got everything in. I have to go from the left there so that I can get this cruise motor cruiser. Is that what it is? I want to drop it down so I get the reflection. That's nice. And then I'll pan it round till we get to the right. So technically only two shots. Then what I think I might do is zoom in and do another shot kind of taking it from there to there to get all the boats in. So an 18 mil, two shot panel, 18 mil, and then a, a, a series of shots. Let's see how far we get with this. Um, I want to get the f-stop tight so I can get some nice star bursts. It technically wants bulb. I'm on manual priority, F14, 25 seconds, 20, 20-ish 20 seconds. I think that'll work, that'll give me enough thingies. So let's set it up. It's from my horizon. I've got locked in the focus. Vibration reduction is off so that the motor on the lens doesn't do any jiggery pokery. That's shot number one. Bottom of the screen. Let's swivel the body around, lock it in, shot number two. Now this is where I'm talking about impatience. 20 second exposure, so that's 20 seconds, I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> I might speed it up a bit for you, but potentially you're waiting 20 seconds. Then the, le the camera processes the image, so another 20 seconds. Imagine if I was doing galaxy shooting and I have to do a 30 minute exposure. Boom, blow my mind. One shot takes an hour to render. I won't be doing that any day soon, I can assure you. So how are we doing with this? That shot too. Not bad, perhaps a little blown out with the lighting. And that's why I'm going to do another shot, but zooming in, I'm not gonna make you persevere the weight, the weight though. So I'm gonna do I'm going to display the shot I've just taken and then the zoomed in pano that I'm going to take. So you get those two and then potentially one more from that other end. Let's see how we get on.
Well, there you go. <laughs> it's not that my photography's got any worse, but the subject itself could be better. <laughs> it's strange because the lights on the boats are not what they were two years ago. And it can make one a little despondent. So what I'll do, I think I'll conclude the video there. There's no point dragging it on and on. I've taken a few random shots as well. So what I'll do is give you a little gallery at the end and um, yeah, just conclude it there. Mostly because I couldn't be bothered anymore. <laughs> And that's all right to do that. It's all right to not be bothered. I think when you're inspired and you, you get a real buzz from it, you just want to keep going. Anyway, I've got a few shots, so thanks for watching, bearing with. Have a nice Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Otherwise, have a nice time off. This will be my last video for 2022. Um, thanks for watching and bearing with all my videos so far. Hopefully see you in another one. Bye for now. <laughs>